What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode of My Animals Are Freaking Hungry. And they, they, oh, dude, oh, look at Rick. Oh, did you see him? Ew, ew, his packer was out. Really? Kinky boy. Ew, why? Look at him, how he's standing. I don't know why. I've never seen Rick do that. He's he's definitely a shower, not a grower. You think so? Oh, he, he's definitely a grower, not a grower, shower. Not yeah, a he's shower. a grower, not a shower. Oh, God, they're chasing the ducks. These ducks need to quit getting out. Our dogs are attacking them. But there you guys go. Here you go, llama. Right here, right here. There you go. Jerry, you want some food, Jerry? There you go. Come here, Rick. Hey, I'll give you some over here, buddy. Come here. There you go, pigs. There you go, Ricky. There we go. See, if two people are scooping, it goes way fast. Here you go, Carlos. Well, there we go. Why? What was the point of that? What are they freaking out about? Can I help you? Is it, you act like I don't do this every single day. Anyways, all right, everything's fed. I feel like I need to feed everything, and then I've got to talk to you guys because, well, they are just too stinking loud. But we've got an exciting episode planned today, but before we get into it, you guys already know the drill. We do have some new beef cake merch that just dropped, and it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. We've got the beef cake logo to up hoodie, hat. You got your hoodie there, the old beef cake hat. Whole bunch of other designs, they will li be linked down below. We've sold out of some stuff, got some stuff back in stock. So if you go to the website and you see anything, you like you should get it while you can but if you want anything you can also get 15 percent off your entire purchase at guggensquad.com by using promo code flare that goes for any Guggen Squad gear whatsoever including the beefcake merch so if you guys want it you guys can check it out but lucy today is your big day buddy go get the quail go get the quail that's what today's video is about lucy you better go get them she she, she doesn't want the quail I guess not. Rip. Are the quails still? Oh, yeah. they're still alive. I was gonna say, what if there's not quail in there? Who, who sneezed? Hey, did you not know it's Rona season? I had it. You should. You guys should already know that by now. You guys got to be careful. But uh, yes, yeah, so we are gonna be doing uh, something with the quail. Finally, finally that time. It's cold out here. It's fall. We're vibing. Look at that, Lucy. How many? See how many we got left? Probably 25 to 30. I would say we've lost a few. We've had a few escape. Um, lost a few early on. But these guys are. Oh, they they must have found one back there. Oh God. See, I think Lucy's gonna look at. It. She's already hunting for him. I think Lucy's gonna do good. What we're gonna do is uh, we've got some nice quail in there. Oh, but look, they're already flying around. We're not gonna kill them all today, okay? Not all, of them, some of them. I raised these things for one thing and one thing only, one reason only, and it was to train Lucy. Real life action, because these things are the, they're bob whites, so they're wild. So you don't wanna release like the Caternix ones out in the wild, because they're definitely not gonna make oh, it. Rip. What happened? She has completely I know, she knocked that off. Yeah, I know. Wire. Wow. Yeah, Lucy's, Lucy's, Lucy. Lucy's basically broken this, this uh, chicken coop. Chaotic. Yeah, so the reason why I have these is I wanted to raise them because I knew I was going to get Lucy and now that they're full grown um we are going to take some today put them in there I'm thinking like eight to ten so we're still going to have quite a few in there we're still going to raise them um and keep going I, I you know I would release all of them here's the reality of it though I've talked to the DNR about this I've talked to all sorts of people the survival rate of these guys is basically nothing because they were raised in a pen they didn't have to defend themselves they didn't have to search for food the odds if I release all these guys you give them one I think it was like one week and like 80 percent of them will be dead and within a month all of them will be dead or like 95 percent of will pretty much be dead so releasing them to then like hunt in the future and like repopulate my land the reality is you got to have like two thousand of them in order to so instead of just releasing all of them and we might end up just releasing them depending on how the tra today's training session goes but the plan is to take eight to ten of them put them in the crate we're going to take them up to uh by my house and we are actually going to plant them for lucy she's not going to be with us we're going to put her inside we're going to plant them what you do is you tuck their head under their wing you hold them there they fall asleep you stick them in a little bush they literally are just sleeping at that point then they wake up and they just kind of sit there and hang out and then we'll bring lucy but before we get into it, okay, I gotta I gotta address something here. You guys, I shouldn't say you guys, because a lot of the people that I'm addressing are the haters, which I don't really associate the haters as the viewers, but a view is a view. You guys really, really teed off uh, on the Lucy duck hunting video, talking about how poorly trained she is, how taking her hunting, and she doesn't even know how to bring the duck back properly is gonna ruin her. Here's the deal, folks, okay? And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If I wanted Lucy to be a top-tiered retrieving duck dog I would have done what everybody else does and send her off to camp okay I would have done that I don't want to do that I want to train her myself now am I a professional trainer by any means no have I put the time and energy and effort into training her the best I could possibly do it no I have trained her I have put time into it but I definitely could have put more into it here's the deal 
I, all I care is that dog right there. All I care is if she has fun. If she has a good time, I'm having a good time. That is all that matters. I'm not here to have her do blind retrieves or any of that. Now, at the same time, I don't want to ruin a potential good hunting dog. Here's the deal, folks. She's six months old, okay? When I took her duck hunting, she was five months old. Most of these training videos, now I watched a bunch of these, these training videos with quail and pheasants. I watched a tra training video today. Professional trainer on YouTube had a nine-month-old lab who behaved significantly worse than Lucy when I took her duck hunting. Like, this dog could hardly find the birds after he shot them. The dog would bring them back and run right past him just like Lucy does. And I'm not hating on this guy. I'm not gonna say his name, obviously, um, because she's a puppy. She's six months old, dude. She, like, you can't expect her to do anything crazy. Now, should she be better at listening at commands than she is right now at her age? Yes. I have lacked teaching her the basic fundamentals of come, sit, stay. She knows all of them, but I haven't really drilled them in to where like, when I say here, no matter what she's doing, she comes here. But the thing is, folks, she's a puppy, okay? Other, okay, the reason why I'm saying this is just relax, okay? I always ask for tips, and I'm gonna do something that you guys told me a lot of you guys told me when she brings something back give her a treat we are going to implement that today we're going to work with her on a training dummy first with it like a, a tennis ball or a dummy whatever she wants to do try to give her treats when she brings it back we're going to do a quick little retrieving session before we actually go quail hunting um just to kind of get her used to hey grab it and bring it back to me so it, it's not that i don't want you guys to give me tips and advice i do but there's a difference between tips and advice and just pure hate i mean honestly half the people commenting hating probably don't even own a freaking dog and if they do they probably sent it off to somebody else to get trained so here's the deal i'm all for help and advice and I appreciate it greatly but just relax okay it's not like I'm in the video saying Lucy's doing amazing she's the best trained dog ever and then she's not the reality is she's just a young pup I want her to have fun she's having fun I'm having fun as long as she can go find a dead bird in the weeds and bring it roughly back to me I'm good to go I just had to say that because the last video the comments sucked I always read the comments in all my videos and I didn't want to read the comments in that video because I'm like dude all you guys doing are bashing on me because this dog isn't perfectly trained and I never said I was gonna perfectly train her. I never said that I'm a great trainer or anything like that. Okay, I just had to get that off my chest. So if you guys wanna hate on me for this, I don't really care, you can go for it. I'm just letting you know um, that, that that's that. So with that being said, we're gonna gather up some quail here. Um, let's start with 10. And like I said, we're gonna do a little quick training session with Lucy um, with either a dummy or tennis ball, whatever she you know gets excited about. She's been into tennis balls lately um, and she's been bringing them back to me uh, fairly decent. But again, she's a young pup. I remember when Millie and Finn, when I first got them for the first year, they would hardly ever bring it back to me. Now Finn will bring it right back to you and drop it at your feet. It's to me, it's an age thing. Most people don't take their dog seriously hunting until they're like one and a half to two. I mean, she's five, six months old. I think it's a puppy thing. Now, if I was super, super strict with her training, do I believe that a dog at that age could be better than Lucy? Absolutely. With that being said, we're gonna load up the quail and then we're gonna head up and we're gonna plant them. And then we're gonna work with Lucy on some training techniques. And we're actually gonna put a GoPro on Lucy. So you're gonna get Lucy POV hunting. And then we're gonna see how she does. We're actually gonna shoot these birds today too. Like we're actually gonna hunt. Um, we might we might have to put her on a leash. You know, she starts running way ahead of us. Um, she doesn't know what to do. So if I have to have her on a leash, I'll put her on a leash. But I know for sure if she sees a bird die, she will find it and bring it back roughly. And then we're gonna go cook them. So little farm raised quail. Then now this isn't a professional hunting video. Okay, quick disclaimer. These are my pet quail. Okay, They're, this isn't like we're going out in the wild. I'm just letting you guys know. Just you, there's a lot of haters out there. So I'm just trying to trying to calm them down a little bit. Anyways, let's load these quail up and see you guys back at the house. Here you go, folks. Look at that quail. She's chilling. So we're in kind of the front of my house. So this is kind of how you plant a bird. Now, there's probably some of you guys out there like, this is cruel. This is literally how they train dogs. Like this is, go YouTube, how to train upland game bird dog. And this is what they do. They train them with live birds. And this is exactly why I raised them. Farm raised, we're still gonna eat them. There's nothing cruel about it. But what you do is take their head. Yep, I know, buddy. Hey, chill. Tuck his head under his wing. Just like that. Lay them on that side. Hold them here for 10 seconds and they fall asleep. Then you place them in the bush. They will wake up and we still have to train Lucy with like tennis balls and stuff just to like work with her. So that'll give them time to wake up. Hopefully they don't run too far. They should kind of just kind of sit. You can feel their heavy breathing. They're starting to fall asleep. And I'm gonna plant this one in this green looking grass so I know where it is, but uh, Lucy will not. Lucy's locked up in a kennel right now so she has no idea what we're doing. Make a little nest for them. Look at that. Night, night, little guy. Now, I assume at some point he'll wake up. I don't know if it's gonna be 30 seconds, five minutes, or an hour, but I know where this one is. We're gonna, we're gonna plant one more closer to my house and uh, grab Lucy, start working with her. Let's get her kind of pepped up, hyped up for the retrieving. Brings me, tennis ball gives her a treat. That way, when we go right into this, she should be, it should be fresh, the idea of retrieving. Because I guarantee you she'll find the bird, but when she brings it back to me, a lot of times she likes to play with it, run around me, so I'm trying to kind of break that habit. But this guy, he's snoozing, so let's go ahead and plant. We'll go plant one more and then get Lucy. All right, Lucy, here's your training session. This is where you gotta impress everybody so we don't get hated on in the comments. Sit, fetch. 
Hey, what's this? What's this? why I didn't use treats before because you could see her she's resisting really hard to she just wants the treat and she did, did put together that the ball equals the treat now that she's getting older she's getting better at it Lucy sit fetch fetch it up Lucy fetch come come here come here Lucy come here oh come here what's this what do I got what do I got all right she's doing good this is good all right now we're ready for the real the real uh Oh, there you go. Get it out. She's holding on to the ball. Normally, whenever I have the treat, she'll drop it halfway and come grab the treat. This is the first time that she's stuck to it. I think she's starting to pick it up. Like I said, I've been working on it. It's not like I only, the only time I train her is when I film. I've worked with her casually here and there. This has been the first time that like she really understands. You saw where she didn't want the ball and she wanted the treat and I made her go get the ball. She brought it to me and gave her the treat. So I think we'll be good. Um, now that her brain is fresh with me getting on my knees saying, come here, she gets a reward. I think if she does the same thing with these quail, we'll be good to go. So leave these tennis balls here and let's get the gun. Lucy, you ready? You don't need to get the ball yet we got quail to get we got quail yeah i know hi folks lucy we got lucy pov you excited buddy well i think it's gonna go well we got two we still have a, we still have eight more uh seven or eight more i think we got nine or ten um in the truck but we started with two just in case you know they either don't wake up and we just need to set them there without making them go to sleep whatever it might be you ready buddy let's go get him let's go hunt. come on come on buddy you can tell she doesn't like the uh, camera rig, so she might not be as jumpy as she usually is, but come on, buddy. You gotta get used to it, because when we go hunting, you gotta have it on. Lucy, come here, buddy. Come on. You're usually all amped up. You don't like the harness. Do you not like the harness? We might have to take it off. I want you to get used to it, but she's not gonna be her bouncy self, which is what you want when you're upland game hunting. Let's go find the first bird, and we might have to take it off, so sorry. I promise POV you might not get it. She just, <laughs> she's very lethargic with this on. But our first birds are planted right over here. Let's see if she finds it. That's such good camera work. Don't make me take it off of you. All right. I think here's what we got to do. Start making her wear it when we're in our training session with tennis balls. Because I don't want to ruin her first quail hunt because we have a camera on her. All right, buddy. I know you don't like it. We'll take it off just this time. We'll start where I should have put this on you before. I thought about it last second today, so. Yeah, it's tied on you though, isn't it? Yeah, probably not very comfortable. I wanted to make sure it wasn't shaky footage for the folks at home, you know? All done. You're free. You ready to hunt the quail now? She's like way too calm right now. Like she needs to frick it. You gotta get in it. It's like pre-game. You know what I'm saying? Lucy, everybody's commenting that you were just misbehaving in the last hunting and now you're just being nothing but a good dog. What happened there? We gotta get amped. Where's the bird? The dead bird? Oh. I'm not the dead bird. Let's go find it. Come on. Dead bird. Fetch it up. Find the bird. Find the bird. Look at her nose. Look at her nose. Find the bird. Find the bird, Lucy. Find the bird. Get the bird. Where's the bird? Where's the bird, Lucy? Where's the bird? Find the bird, Lucy. Find oh, there. Look. She got it. Find the bird. Find the bird, Lucy. Get it, Lucy. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Dude, she caught it. Come here, Lucy. Come. Hey, come here, buddy. Hey, this is not what we wanted. Come here. Come here. Come here. That didn't work. You were not supposed to be sleeping still. I mean, she found she it. She found it. So we need to plant these things without sleeping them. Okay. How do we? How do we do this now? Do you want to hang on to her? Let me go plant this guy without putting him to sleep. Okay. She's gonna know where he is. But like, we've got to get a good simulation yeah. of the hunt. Cause I'm sorry, but wild quail ain't gonna do that for you, probably. Good girl. All right. You hang on to her. I'll go plant this guy. And we'll try that again. Fetch it up, Lucy. Find the bird. Let's find the bird. Come on. She's actually doing better than I thought, staying close to me. Because if any birds flush right here, we're good. I was kind of worried she would start running. Come on, fetch it up. Fetch it up. Get the bird. Where's the bird? Come on, fetch it up. I'm going to try getting where we're upwind. So 
the scent blows down so she finds it. See if that works. Lucy, find the bird. Get the bird, Lucy. Oh, she's close, she's close, she's close. Yep, she's on. I couldn't shoot it. I couldn't shoot it, but keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it. I didn't want to shoot over Luce. That was perfect. She did great, but she, it didn't get high, and I wasn't. We're, we're messing around. It is not worth shooting over your dog for something like this. I mean, for a flush job, she did good. The bird just didn't get up. It's right there. Do you want to walk over there? We can see if we can try to flush it out again. That was perfect. She did great. I just, it wasn't worth me shooting over the dog. I mean, she would have been like, the, the quail was too slow or Lucy was too fast. Ideally, it would get up a little bit, but flush job did perfect. She on it? She's on it. She's on it. She might have caught it. She has it, bro. Not even shooting it. Come here. Where'd it go? You dropped it. Come on. Lucy, come. There you go. Good girl. I don't know about your dog, but does your dog hunt the birds for you? You don't even have to shoot them with Lucy. Hey, you retrieve? Not that good, I'll be honest. But you found the bird twice. She found the bird twice. But we're going to go, uh, let's put a couple more out. We got to get one where I shoot it because I think the live, it being alive threw her off a little bit with the retrieve because she was fighting the bird while she was trying to listen to me. Hey, good job, Bubba. We'll take it. I know it's not ideal. You didn't bring it right back to me. It took you a second. But eventually you brought it back and you got the bird as alive. I mean, there's nothing you can really do. I could have shot it. I just wasn't in a good position and I didn't want to shoot over her. But she ended up getting the quail anyway so we can at least eat it. But that being said, let's go throw a few more out and see if she does better. I shouldn't say she. I need to actually shoot one this time. Find the bird. She's close. She's close. She's close. She's on it. Get the bird. Where's that? Get the bird. Flush it up. Get it up. Get it. Get it. Get the bird. Get the bird. Get the bird. Get the bird. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Do these quail not know how to fly? This is not working out as planned, folks. Lucy, why do these quail not fly? I don't understand. I know they're farm raised and all, but. Well, I set one more out there. When I set it down, it started walking. So maybe we can find that one. We gotta get one. This is good practice for finding birds. She's not doing that good retrieving today, worse than I expected, honestly. But we haven't got it where the bird is dead. I think it being alive is kind of messing with her. So let's go try to find another one. Find the bird. Find the bird. Where's the bird? Find the bird, Lucy. Find the bird. Where's the bird? Get the bird. Find the bird. Come on, find the birds. Where's the birds? Find the birds. That's it. Come on. Find the birds. I set it right here. It's gone. This one ran from us. So this is an actual hunt. Like, I couldn't tell you where it is. I know it's in this area, but she's doing what she needs to be doing. The retrieving part can be worked on, but she she's being a, a bird dog right now, which is all she needs to be. Well, folks, Lucy, we lost one. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. But uh, we lost, we could not find it. She ran and ran and ran and ran and she's, she's getting tired. So we're gonna give her a break. Since these quail are not flying great, we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of them. We're gonna put seven to eight of them out here. Let her get a break, give her some water, let her chill, let the quail chill. That way they fly. I think they're just, they're not used to, to flying in kind of how they're living right now. So we're gonna plant a bunch through here. I wanna plant them all through here and just basically, you're gonna, you're gonna replicate a real quail hunt where there's probably multiple birds kind of in an area. Just let Lucy go and hope that we can at least get one to pop up and drop and she retrieves. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, we got about 10 of them planted out there right now. Uh, didn't put them to sleep. They Half of them ran. Hey, Lucy. No, come here. Hey, not, 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 not yet, little dog. Not yet. Oh, no, no, no. Look, she, dude, it's because of the wind. Look, the wind's blowing right at us. She's getting a whiff. Hang on, Lucy. So we've got 10 of them out there. They've been sitting about 20 minutes. Some of them literally sprinted out of my hands. Some of them just sat there. The goal is we need one for Lucy to flush, for me to shoot and kill and her to bring back to me. That is the goal. I'm sure it's not going to happen. These birds are not wild. So obviously you saw twice. Uh, she ended up just grabbing it. That's not the goal. We don't want that. That's, that's not realistic. We want her to flush. So, fingers crossed, let's get us a quail down on the ground. Find the bird, Lucy. I didn't put any over there, Lucy. Lucy, I didn't. <laughs> Come here, Lucy. They're up top. I have no idea where these are. They might be right here. Find the bird. Where are they at? Oh, we got him. Get him, Lucy. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Where's the bird? Dead bird. Dead bird, Lucy. Lucy, dead bird. Come, come, Lucy, come. Come here, buddy. Come here, Lucy. Oh, that's a good dog. Come on. Oh, you're so close. Come here. <laughs> Lucy, hey, come. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. You're so close, Lucy. Come on, Lucy, come here. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Here's a tree. 
She did it, dude. She was getting beat up by it. You did it, bud. Good girl. Man, I was like, please don't turn and run. Please don't turn. Good job, buddy. I know. I know. We got the first. That was legit, bro. We walked for at least 15 minutes. These things spread out really fast. We gave them like 30 minutes to run around. That's a good dog. I was not expecting it all because she she didn't like stop and sniff. We we're just going all of a sudden. It was fine. She scared it. She scared it. That's a good dog. And she brought it back. I didn't move. It may have taken her a second. This thing might have tried smacking her a few times. We did it, buddy. That's a good dog. That is such a good dog, Lucy. We got to get more. That's only one. Got to put them in the pouch. Let's go get more. Good job. Let's go. Lucy, that's such a good dog. Wow. This is tough. It's been a lot of work. The two that she got earlier, it was not, it didn't work. They didn't fly. That that was like the most realistic because we were walking her for 15 minutes. She didn't even like point at it. I didn't know where it was. I don't think she even knew where it was. She literally, she flushed it out, turned, swung, shot it. She grabbed it and brought it back. Good job, Lucy. There's still more in here. I mean, I think half of them ran away because we already ran down this path, but we're gonna, we're gonna go down a couple times. I mean, this is realistic hunting. You're not, you don't just have quail and pheasants like this. So we're gonna walk back and forth a few more times. Hopefully we can get one more. Oh. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready. She's on point. Fetch it up, fetch it up, Lucy. Get it, get the bird, get the bird, Lucy. Get the bird. She's on it, she's on it. Get the bird, Lucy. Get the bird. She's gotta be close. Get it, Lucy. Get the bird. Get, oh, get it, girl, come on. Come on, Lucy. Come on, bring it back. Come on, Lucy. Good girl. Come here, come here, right here. Oh, good girl, right here, don't you? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You got, I know, I know, I know. Dude, this is insane, bro. She's doing so good now. What? That was a tough one. You saw how long she sat there and went around and around. That one flushed perfect. I dropped him. Lucy, this is dinner, buddy. I know, I know. You brought it right back. That's two in a row, buddy. One more, you get a UAV, dude. You excited for that? Yeah, that's a good girl. Oh man, I'm I'm proud. This is good. This is good. I, she's not perfect. Hey, neither am I. No, neither is nobody, by the way. But the fact that we're walking this, no idea where they're at. They ran around. She finds them, flushes them, shoots them, or trees them. This this is, look, she's still excited about it. Lucy, the good news is there's more. There's more of them, buddy. Hey, no, don't bite the wing. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. All right. Well, we got two down, son. Maybe we can get another one. She's doing good, honestly, about staying biased, too. I thought she was just gonna yeet. Like, she gets out in front of us here and there, but not too bad. Dude, oh, God. Dude, she, she's onto something. There's something. Get the birds, Lucy. Oh, there it is. Oh, I missed one. Uh, there's a trailer there. That's what happens in your hunting in your front yard. That was good though. I was like, I bet there's one in here. It's really nice. It's nice and thick. I don't think I dropped it. Lucy kept going, so we better go see if she got it. No, no, no. Those. That's rock. That's rock. Uh -huh. That's from driving. Lucy, where the? I'm sorry, buddy. That was a great flush. I just missed it. That was money. I just, dude. I just like. I still wasn't ready. I still wasn't ready. These are fast. You give them, give them like 10 minutes to chill. They, they turn into some fat. Oh. There you go. She's getting figured out. Well, we lost one. Let's go ahead and keep walking. I really think we should walk over that ridge. She keeps sniffing over there. They might have ran across, so. Let's go ahead and finish, go around, see if we can get one more. Where they at? Oh, oh. They might be in that bush. Oh, God. She's pointing, bro. Look at her, look at her, look at her. Fetch it up, fetch it up, fetch it up. Dude, it's too close. It was too close. It was after my barrel. It was too close. You can't be haunting by your buildings and stuff. Literally, it was right here. <laughs> this is insane. We literally saw it. Oh, that's bad. That's embarrassing. I can't even hit farm raised birds, dude. But like, I was like, I don't shoot. I didn't want to blow its head off. By the time it got here, look, my shop's right there. Like, I didn't want to shoot the shop, so I shot it right in this gap. I missed. I'm making excuses. That was a good flush, though. She stopped right on it. It was in that bush. It walked out. That was crazy. You could see it. And it flew straight up. Well, here's the good news. I'm, I'm, I'm basically just releasing them. The fact that I'm missing, not a bad thing, because Lucy's still getting practice, flushing, and all that. Maybe they'll be around here one day when we're just kind of running around, but wow. I say we, we should make one more pass. One more pass down. Because we've had what? That's four? We flushed four. And I put like 10. So we got five some, somewhere. But that was a good flush by Lucy. Poor shooting on my part. But I'll take it. Again, it's all about her. Not a big deal. Note to self, don't hunt in the front of your house where there's trailers and buildings and cars. I should have picked a pasture back there. The only reason why I didn't, I didn't really want to mess up the deer hunting. I was trying to kind of stay up here because all the deer hunting's back there. But either way, let's keep going. Dude, she's like a she's like a crackhead right now. She's look at, I'm not even directing her. You guys have been hearing me. I say find the bird, find the bird, find the bird. I'm not saying anything. She's just on. She knows what her job is. She's just doing it. This is cool to watch. I'm just watching. She's just 
Hopefully we can get another one. Come on, buddy. We're gonna go down this hill. I didn't put any here. I put them here, but they could have ran, went over. She's been, her nose has been going over that point. No idea if there's any over there, but we're gonna crawl over here and then walk this inside ridge. Maybe we'll find another one. Come on, Lucy. Now, if she gets on a scent trail here, you know there's a bird. We hadn't planted any birds over here. A lot of it, what she's smelling is probably old birds. Could be new birds. I mean, we have, we've missed a few, but if she gets on a good one here, pretty good chance it's an actual bird. It's a bird, Lucy. Oh God, she's on one. Get the bird. Lucy, get the bird. Get that bird. Get that bird, Lucy. Get the bird, Lucy. Get that bird, Lucy. Get that bird. Where's that bird at? Get that bird. Get the bird, Lucy. Fetch it up. Oh, she's on it. She's on it. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, I hit it. You see the feathers? We can get it. We can get it. She's on it. Lucy, Lucy might get it. Get it, Lucy. Unreal. That wasn't even where we planted it. That means that thing ran like 50 yards. Let's just watch it from here. We can see. You see the feathers? I got a good hit on it. Let's go help her. I think we can get it. Dude, that was so good. So good. Man, I cannot believe I, I thought for sure I'd get him on that first shot. I mean, it's just a like, puff. Pretty sure I broke his leg. You can see it dangling. Oh, she got it. She got it. She got it. Come here, Lucy. Good girl. Lucy. Lucy, good girl. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Good girl. She got it, bro. She got it. She good girl. I don't have, oh, I'm out of tree, it's ripped. Oh man, oh, no. wait, I got a nibble. There you go, there's a Scooby snack. Dude, she got it. That's three, no, don't, easy, he's toast. Hey, no, he's toast, he goes in the pouch. That was on an area not even close to where I planted. I mean, at least 100 yards. This is like, this makes me want to raise like thousands of these things and actually release them to hunt. This is so much fun. Good girl, Lucy. That's a good dog. She almost found it on her own. She was right in here and then she came back to me, which is fine. I'm glad that she came back. We kind of we kind of spotted it. I just wounded old bud here. They're a little bit more hardy than I expected. Watch her just find a wild one. You never know. But we might as well keep walking. One of them went down that hill, so there's going to be more. Good job, little guy. Well, Lucy did okay. She did pretty good. It's kind of the same thing as dove. When we took her dove hunting, the first hour was just out the window. She just couldn't focus. She wouldn't listen. Nothing. I mean, it didn't help that we had quail that, uh, yeah, she's, she's going to sleep good tonight. That's the most exercise she's had in a long time. But the first couple ones we, we had, obviously she just grabbed, but these are the three we ended up getting. These are the Bob Whites. What was there? Two? Two that got away? I think, I think two. So. Two yeah. that got away. So I released 10. Five flew up. That means there's five somewhere else. We are going to keep uh, some of the other quail. We still have another dozen or so, dozen or two. We're going to keep those guys uh, for another training session because it's like now that she got the hang of it. I mean, you guys saw her at the end. I wasn't even giving her instructions. I wasn't even saying find the birds. Like she literally just was doing her job. She would find it. She, for the most part, would let me know that she found one. I mean, there was that one that obviously just got scared right away. But, you know, she does her little dance. She kind of points. Then she gets them. She flushes them. A shot. I mean, she did two full-blown retrieves. The other one, she got really close um, on the one that I wounded. But as soon as we got her in the air, she found it. So in my book, for a six-month-old puppy, decent job. She needs a little work on the retrieve, focusing on the come here type thing. But I, I did what you guys said. I brought treats, and it, it worked. So I will say thank you guys for the tips. Like, there's a difference, like I said, between tips and, and hating. Just, just relax, okay? <laughs> I'm sensitive. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, so we do have the, I'm not going to wrap it up because we have these three guys. We're going to clean these guys up and take them inside. Actually, I think we're going to cook them tomorrow. We have a little lunch session with them since it's getting kind of late right now. Go ahead and clean these guys up and we will see you guys tomorrow for the cooking portion. You guys stay tuned. Boom, folks, we are ready to rock and roll here. We got, the, these are the quail, which is insane because these are the size of like a large teal. Like I've killed teal teal with smaller breasts than this. And this is like a big chunk of meat. You can see how white it is. It's basically, it looks like chicken. Then we've got bacon, cheese and rice, the old uh, farm-raised pigs uh, that we have bacon. Most importantly, we got two seasonings. We're actually gonna put these head to head here. These are the duck's seasonings. They'll actually be linked down below if you guys wanna check them out. This is all meat, which literally you can put them on everything. And this is the wild game, which has a little smoky spice flavor so we're gonna go half and half like i said we you didn't see the cleaning process but what i did is i breasted them out a lot of people they'll pluck them have them whole personally for me you get a little less meat this way because you don't get the little leg meat but you're talking about that much meat you're wasting versus bacon wrapping it it's just it is so so good so we're gonna go ahead and throw a nice healthy coating of seasoning on these guys we're let's we're gonna do half and half to see which one we like better let's go ahead and pack it in flip it over and season the other side oh yeah dude it just oh it smells so good smoky flavor mm-mm mm. Let that sit. Now we've got the all meat. So we're gonna throw on the other side. Really? Dogs are excited. Maybe they saw another quail. All right, pack that in. Even the old flip. Using the other side. 
Beauty. Then take your strip of bacon, just like that, lay it on top, pinch and roll, just like that. There it is. Same thing on these other guys. Lay it down, pinch and roll. Wrap these guys up, and I'm gonna throw them on the grill. I mean, that's a lot of bacon. That's that's a lot of meat. But the thing is that that whole piece of meat can go right in your mouth. That's the beauty of this. We're gonna throw it on the Traeger out there. We're gonna cook it at 500 degrees. That way, I, that's the, probably the only shot at getting this bacon somewhat done. It is really, really thick bacon. I've seen where people will cook the bacon in like light cook it keep it to where it's maybe not completely done um, but getting close and then wrap it and finish it that way you if you want your bacon really really crispy you're gonna have to do that this we're gonna have some soft bacon but it'll still be good I'm still I'm still confident but this is just I mean this is like mega mega thick bacon so go ahead and wrap these guys up here and we're gonna throw them on the grill like I said 500 try to get a little crisp on it make sure that meat is not overcooked you don't want overcooked meat so that's the dilemma with thick bacon you get thick bacon like this if you want to try to cook the bacon to get crispy your meat is more than likely going to be overcooked so you can't have that so go ahead and wrap these last two guys up just like a little baby in a blanket and uh we'll throw them on the grill i'm thinking maybe four minutes each side flip them should be good to go. All right, Ew, she's heated up, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and put the all meats the left side. Wild game on the right side. Bingo, shut it, flip it after probably, uh, I don't know, four or five minutes, and uh, see how they turn out. Shoo! Oh God, yeah, they're getting after right now there, baby. All right, this is the old all meat. Coming off first, crispy bacon, crispy bacon. We got the wild game over on the right. Ooh, look at that crispy bacon, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This guy's smoking like crazy, but take them inside, let them cool off and give them a taste. Shoo! Look at these bad boys, folks. We've got wild game cut up. I, I halved them, uh, cut them in half. Uh, just let them kind of cool off. So I'm gonna start with the all meat and then go over to the wild game here. This, this piece looks phenomenal. Look at that, juicy meat. We got some nice bacon, here we go. Ooh, it's tender. Wow, you, you, you can't understand me. Oh, hot. Way more tender than I thought. I thought I overcooked the meat. Mm-mm. Mmm. That tastes just like chicken. That is good. The spice level is good, too. I'm going for the wild game. Let's see which one I like more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're both good. Before I give my opinion. Hold that. No, you're doing this Yeah, too, I gotta huh? do that, yeah. Give her hell, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Boy. Oh, yeah. It's still a lot of meat for your mouth, even in half. Not going on, man. Yeah, so there's a lot. There's a lot there. Good flavor. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. Would you Would you think it's chicken, or would you be able to tell that that ain't chicken? If you didn't tell me, I should guess. I'd probably say chicken. It's yeah. Chicken, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not as It's not as dry as I thought mm -hmm. it would be. It's It's no. a lot more moist than I thought for sure. I overcooked it. I definitely thought it was, it was gonna yeah. be overcooked. Yeah. Because the bacon. Because the bacon. Yeah. But it was better. It was good, yeah. yeah. All right. Go ahead and go in for that old wild game there. Which one you like better? That's you might want to cut that little good. nipple. You don't like the old, the old crusty nipple. The old, that's a crusty nipple. You might not. You might like it, but you might not like. Yeah, depends depends if you like rusty nipples or not. Kinky boy. Ask me. Taste different? Taste the same? I thought they were Definitely similar. Definitely different. Oh, really? See, I thought they were a little similar. I kind of like that better. The wild game. Mm -hmm. I do, too. I, it it kind of like fits like, 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 like the smokey. You, you, I see you get, a sm like, you get a smokier yeah. taste. Uh, I didn't say anything, but my vote, I mean, they're both phenomenal. I would eat this either one. This one seemed more salty. Yes. That one seemed like just right. Yes. That was a kind of a salty, just a normal, like kind of just if you threw pepper, garlic, salt, mm -hmm. all sorts. Like that was more generic. This had that smoky, kind of not hot, but like a not a barbecue, it's but not just gamey at all. it's not gamey. No, it's, it's, it's but it's got like a good heat and a good smoke flavor it's that, that complements. Yes, mm -hmm. it, it was more of a barbecue. You get this, you taste that, you're like I'm at a barbecue. You get that, you're maybe at a restaurant. Like that might be the two. Like that's kind of like more of a classic taste. That's more of a barbecue, throw it on the grill type taste. Both really good. Both honestly not overcooked i thought even though we had a lot of thick bacon they cooked well really ideally you would have thinner bacon and not use a full wrap you would do just enough to wrap in it like basically it did two wraps around it which is it's a lot of bacon if you really wanted to make it right and crispy and not overcook the meat you would do thinner bacon and you would just maybe like half of a slice per but i like a lot of bacon that's the reason why i did that so anyways quail was phenomenal oh we got to give some to loose we got we, we got and well can't can't just give it to her. We gotta give some to Millie too. So she did a lot of work yesterday. Let's see. Yeah, Millie did. Millie did all the work yesterday. <laughs> well, let's see what the pups think. Hi, Bubby. You guys want a Scooby snack? Oh, Millie. Since when do you sit? There you go. Loop. Hey, hey, hey. You gentle, 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 gentle. There. Yeah. Okay. We'll call that gentle. There you go, Millie. There's one for you too. What do you guys think you about the wild game life, or are you about the all meat? They like them. They like them both. You guys, you guys want more? Can't. You probably shouldn't have any more. I don't know if it's probably not the greatest thing for dogs. But Lucy, good job, buddy. Nux. Thanks, pal.
Millie, you did all the good work. Thanks. Good job, buddy. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was good to get Lucy out there. I mean, it didn't go perfectly planned. How's that? That's probably good. Let's go this way. I think it's just loud. Uh, but it was. It didn't go perfectly planned, but Lucy did her job. She found the birds. She scared the birds. I shot the birds. Some of them. She retrieved the birds. Again, gonna need some more practice. We still have more quail left, so if you enjoyed it, maybe we don't make an entire video about it next time, but it's just, hey, let's go do this, and then we can go do something else, whatever it might be. If you guys want to see us take Lucy quail hunting again using the remaining remaining quail that we still have. Um, I thought it was good. Maybe Millie. Yeah, Millie probably wouldn't be that good at it, but she isn't like gunshots. Lucy doesn't care. So if you guys liked it, also, again, any training tips, tips I like. So go ahead and comment them down below. Anything that you would have done different if you were in my position to help Lucy. But I think overall she did good. Um, it was a good first hunt for her. And so I think we're just going to have to keep it up, keep at it, keep working with her on the retrieving. And next year, we're going to kill it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, link down below, new Beefcake merch. Get 15% off by using promo code FLAIR. Go check it out. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.